the yesterday's video was all about how to play the perfect London system, which Magnus did against Vladimir Kramnik, a complete domination playing the London. But this game is how to destroy the London system, how to win games against the London system pretty quickly. And this one is from another famous grandmaster, Hikaru Nakamura, who was playing against a very strong GM as well, Evgeny Bariv. This game uh, was played in 2015, and I would like you to go through this game once. So stay tuned till the end. And if you like the video, please do subscribe the channel as well. Hey, chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga, and let's begin with this game. So Bariv starts with knight to f3, and Nakamura goes with d5. Now you must be thinking it's not the London system. It gets converted into a London system once d4 and bishop f4 are played. Here Nakamura responds with c6 first, bishop to comes to f4, and now queen to b6. That's always the idea whenever the bishop is out early. You want to put your queen on b6, attack the pawn, which is weakened up because bishop left its safety. So now to defend this pawn, generally uh, what you can do is simple development of your knight. Let the pawn, gambit the pawn as well. Because it's okay, uh, once queen takes, rook can come in front, uh, then queen will be passive eventually, and you can com compensate that with your faster development of other pieces, castle on the king side, and that pawn gambit will not hurt you much. Or what you can do is put your bishop backwards sometimes, maybe you can defend with the queen. Uh, but the worst of all of this, which is uh, kind of peculiar at the end, is pawn to b3. Now, why I'm saying so it's bad because your dark square bishop is already out and the dark squares here will be weakened up after the the pawn moves. This is the only pawn which is controlling the dark squares. Once you move, move it up, you will lose the control of the diagonal completely. So here the same happens. Uh, he plays b3 defending the pawn and Nakamura continues development with knight to f6. Uh, his idea is to place the, bishop, uh, the knight onto h5 and attack this bishop, which generally goes back if you just keep attacking with the pawn, uh, or if you just try to attack with something else. The bishop will, in the London, is supposedly to go back onto g3, uh, not to trade off with the bishop. Sometimes you just don't develop the queen, but you play pawn forward e6 and offer bishop trade, and then you will see bishop going back. Because after the trade happens, opponent will take back with the edge pawn and open this, enjoy this very happy semi-open file. Uh, but that's what uh, doesn't happen here because queen was moved out early. You cannot just play pawn forward and bishop to d6 because it can be captured, it's not defended. So Nakamura goes with knight to f6 with the idea of then uh, going on to h5. Now pawn e3 was played by Bariv and now comes knight to h5 straight away. Doesn't develop the other minor pieces. Uh, if you see moving the same piece twice in the opening is against the principles, basic principles of chess opening. But Nakamura violates those because he has some intentions of taking this bishop out early. Now bishop comes on to g7, g5. The idea is not to give the bishop because Otherwise, knight takes the bishop, and this bishop is kind of strong piece. Uh, so uh, rather, Bariv saves it by placing it on g5. But that what, what happens next is now h6 is playable, and the bishop has to retrieve, which does happen. And now comes a knight to d7 by Nakamura, trying to connect both the knights, maybe. Here comes a knight to e5 uh, by Bariv. His idea is simple that if knight takes, he can simply take back uh, the other knight with the queen and he will have a good position, which is not wrong. And once we trade off, the knights have been traded. Uh, Nakamura can now save his knight simply going back anywhere and that saves the knight. There's no problems. But here Nakamura comes up with a different and instru in very interesting idea actually. He plays knight to g4. Now you'll be thinking, what is knight doing there? It, it cannot be captured, first of all, because of the bishop. And if you see, there are not much squares with the queen now. The queen is kind of already trapped. All you need to do is attack it further. Because there is no room for queen remaining. The queen cannot take, cannot come here because the pawn saves, cannot come here because the bishop is there. 
and cannot come on to e5 as well because knight controls it so you are restricting the movement of the queen so bari tries to put the bishop backwards with the idea of placing queen on to h5 now can you find out how the continuation of this game from here on you can pause the video and check it out for yourself how would you trap the queen uh, if there's a way if you see it or any other continuation that you would like to go with for those who have found it well done and for those who haven't let's enjoy this here comes g6 very passive move the idea is simple to put this queen backwards onto either of the squares and if the queen goes to uh, h3 then of course you can simply move your knight away it's a discover attack on the uh, queen and the queen is trapped it's gone so a uh, queen can only go to h4 now after the pawn is played that's what happens in the game and now uh, you you must be thinking that yes the idea is always to fear and kill the bishop whenever you play g6 you can castle and then continue with the game but here g6 is g7 is played bishop to g7 with the idea of putting the bishop back on to f6 and once bishop comes to f6 there's no way you can save the queen in fact there's no other option here and that's why bariv resigns here exactly yep it's 11th move and bariv resigns there's no way to save the queen even stockfish says you can't save the queen here the best move is to play pawn forward and then the next best move is again to place the bishop on to f6 which yes you can take the knight but you will lose the queen and the game would be done and dusted because you are playing against nakamura of course so it's 4.8 4.9 close to 5 in advantage for black already uh, on move number 14 if the queen trade happens very pleasant position for black to continue with you can simply put your bishop out you can castle queen side give some checks uh, just push this rook away uh you can castle uh, yeah casting on the queen side makes more sense of course you can put your bishop out can play pawn forward as well so a very pleasant position to win from here for a grandmaster and that's what happens uh, uh, bari just resigns after the queen is trapped so that's how you can trap a queen uh, when your opponent plays the london uh and i hope it's helpful i hope you are able to do it as well whenever you get a chance to so do like the video please do subscribe as well to the channel if you haven't already by now and i shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always thanks for your time take care and bye bye